Hi, and welcome to my quick guide of the quest Elemental Workshop 2. The quest requirement is Elemental Workshop 1, and the stat requirements are 20 magic and 30 smithing. For the items needed are any kind of pickaxe that you can use, a hammer, 8 coal, and a battered key, which you can get back during this quest. For the recommended items is some food, armor, and weapon to kill two monsters of combat 35, and maybe also a regular restore potion dose because we will be losing 20 magic points at the end of the quest. For the teleports, one to Sears Village to the Elemental Workshop and then maybe one after the quest is completed. Now where to start this quest is here in the Education Center of the Dig site. Just go to the bookcases and let's search the most northeastern bookcase in the southwestern corner and they'll find a beaten book. Click on it to read and you'll find a scroll. Read the scroll, then close it, and let's now teleport to Sears Village to get back to the Elemental Workshop. So if you have lost your battered key, go back south of the Elemental Workshop building and search the bookcase and be sure to click to continue to get your battered key back. And let's go back to the Elemental Workshop. Just open the odd looking wall and climb down. Now if you have the slash book in your inventory, be sure to drop it before you continue with this quest. Next, let's make ourselves two Elemental Bars. So let's first go west and try to mine an Elemental Rock. Kill it twice to get two elemental ores. This is also the only monster that you will need to kill during this quest, so if you want to use prayer points to speed up the kill, be sure to do so. Alright, when the second one has been defeated, be sure to pick up the second ore and let's go back to the fire elementals. Let's use both of the ores on the furnace. Is it a regular furnace? Can I just smelt it in Feldor? I don't know. Just smelt them here. Two elemental bars. And let's now go north to the water elementals. I was started ooh, from 20 to 6. Alright, here at the Water Elementals, go to the southwestern corner to find some machinery. Search it to get a key and then go back to the center. Use the key on the hatch in the center of the center and then climb down the hatch. And welcome to Elemental Workshop 2. In this area you will find a lot of crates. Search every single crate on this floor to find three cocks and a pipe. But not all of them should be in this area. There's also a second area where we'll need to look. But first, let's search every single crate in this area. All right, and this was the final crate. Next, let's go one of the two stairs. There's one in the northeastern and one in the southwestern corner. And on this floor, there are some more crates. Try to look for them. Try to look through every single crate in this area to find your missing pieces. I was missing the final pipe piece.
All right, there we go. I found the final item. Let's first go all the way north here on the second floor. And there you should find some piping. Use your pipe on the piping. This is machine one out of four fixed. Next, let's run west. And on the western side, we will need to fix machine number two. Click on the junction box. Here, select the top left with the bottom right. Then select the two at the bottom and the two of the top. The interface will automatically close and this is machine number two completed or fixed. Next, let's go south and climb down the catwalk. Next, go east and there you'll find a wind turbine. Turn your camera east and north of the lever you'll find three pins. Use the large cock on the right pin, then a medium one on the bottom pin and a small one on the top pin. And that is machine three out of four fixed. Next, let's go south and there you should find two levers and next to them a crate with some paper on it. Take from the crate and select crane schematic. Read it and now you've learned how to make the elemental claw. Let's go back upstairs north to the elemental workshop one and use your elemental bar on the workbench. Create a elemental claw. Next, go back downstairs and let's return to the claw machine. First, pull the western lever next to the paper crane. Then go stand in between the two levers and use the crane claw on the old crane to replace it. Then pull the western lever again to pull it back up. And this is, by the way, also machine number four out of four completed. Next, let's use the elemental bar on the jig cart. Then pull the western lever twice to pick up the bar. Then pull the eastern lever. Then pull the eastern lever to make it move to the magma. Pull the western lever twice to dip it. Turn your camera to the other side. Be sure that it is yellow. All right. Then turn the eastern lever again. Pull the western lever twice. And this is one out of four completed. Next, just behind you, there's another lever next to the card sign. Pull that lever. This is the jig card moving lever. Next, go a bit northwest and wait for the card to be at the pressure machine. It has stopped moving. Pull the old lever and it will be pressed. Next, go back to the moving card lever and move it to the cooling section. Next, go north. And here in front of the door, you'll find a lever. Open the door, two squares east, and turn the corkscrew lever twice. Then pull the old lever to close the door. Then go west, and you'll find a water valve. Valve, valve. And you'll find a water valve. Turn it twice. Turn it on, and then turn it back off. Click to continue and then go east of the Turk screw lever. And then turn the eastern valve twice. Open and close. And then once again, open the door. Turk screw lever twice. And then close the door. Next, go back south to move the cart to the third and the final section. Then go to the wind turn by machine. Turn the lever. No need to wait for the card. It's already white. Turn it immediately back off. Go back to the southern lever. Make the jig card move. To make the jig card move back to you. Wait for the prime bar to have arrived. Pick it off the jig card. And let's go now northwest. In the northwestern corner. Climb down the stairwell and go south. Open the eastern door and inside of this room you'll find a extractor machine. 
use a prime bar on the southern part, the extractor gun. Then operate the extractor head just north of you. You will lose 20 magic points and the prime bar will be changed into a mind bar. Take it from the extractor gun and let's now go to the elemental workshop one area to complete our quest. Now, if you have the slash book in your inventory, you have to drop it right now. And if you only have the beaten book in your inventory, use the primed mind bar on the workbench. And congratulations, you have completed Elemental Workshop 1 quest. You are rewarded with one quest point, 7,500 smithing and crafting experience, and ability to equip Elemental Mind equipment, as well as also the ability to make an Elemental Mind helmet, which is pretty useless since this is better in every single way. Now if you wanted to upgrade your elemental shield into a mind shield, you just need to get yourself back an elemental bar, go back to workshop number two, go through all the machines again, make yourself a primed mind bar once again, be sure to grab the slashed book from the bookcase, and while you have that book in your inventory, you will be able to make a mind shield. Alright, this was my quick guide how to complete the Elemental Workshop 2 quest. Hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.